Laura from Doggy U, and today we're going to be doing a review of the Dometic CFX3 55IM. That's right, it's the fridge with the ice maker. It's cool. So today we're gonna to be doing that review because I was looking at these fridges and seeing what I wanted for my next fridge, and I was having trouble finding a review of someone who's actually used it. I found a lot of reviews of people opening up a box and taking videos of the inside, but I wanna see what the actual user experience is like. So not only are we going to open it and see what's inside and go over the features, but I'm also going to use it over the next couple weeks on a trip that I'm doing up to New Hampshire uh, and to go grocery shopping and to do stuff around town and go camping. We're going to see how it works in real life and see what the pros and the cons are. I'm really excited about this fridge because you may know from this channel that I've had two Dometic fridges in the past and when I sold my last van most recently, I've been without a fridge. and. When you're spoiled with having a fridge, um, it's really sad when you have to pack a cooler with ice. So you guys know that I love Dometic, so let's go check out all the features of the Dometic CFX3 55IM. Here's a video of the 20 seconds it took to unbox. <laughs> Just kidding. It was only 20 seconds and fast forward. But the point here is that there's nothing to set up. Literally, as soon as I pull it out of the box and plug it in, it's ready to use, and I love that about these Dometics. So I just unboxed this fridge and it's not super heavy to lift out of the thing. I think they put it in at just under 47 pounds or so for this fridge without anything in, of course. Um, and it was pretty easy to move around because it has these really nice handles that are super solid. And that's the first thing you really notice about the Dometic is it's a really solid product. Um, it just feels weighty and well built. I know in my last van, I, we occasionally use it as a seat when we needed more seating. Uh, and it held up really well. I'm sure that's not the manufacturer used for it, but we did. Um, I want to do a little measuring so you see the size of it. So we're at about 25 inches um, in length, about 17 and a half, 18 inches uh, in depth. And then the height of it, floor to the top, is just 19 um, inches or so. Plus, you've got to add extra for the handle, so probably another three inches for the handle. What do you think, dude? You like that fridge? Um, so it feels like a really nice product. It comes with both the AC and the DC plugs so that you can plug it into the wall or you can plug it into you know, your outlet in the car. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in and turn it on. So plug it in, hit the power button, and it automatically turns on. Now I know this does come, Dometic has an app that you can use. Um, I'll definitely have to try that out, but realistically I'm very much a low tech kind of person. So I'm probably gonna use the buttons. So I can go in here and just, I wanna be able to see if without reading the instructions, I'm gonna be able to use this. So I wanna set, let's see, I wanna set the temperature. So I'm gonna go over to uh, this up down and automatically once I press the up down, it gives me the option to Set temp, battery protection, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, display, temperature units, and ice maker. So this is, so I'm gonna go to set temp here, press okay, and I can easily move the temperature up and down. Now, in the past, I did have the 75 prior, and the 75 had a freeze section and a fridge section, they had two different sections where you could set them both to freezing, both to cooling, or one, freeze, one freezer, one fridge. This is gonna be all one temperature that you're gonna to have to set. But it does have that ice maker, and I'm really curious how that ice maker is gonna work, so I'm definitely gonna test this out as we go on. Um, when I'm looking inside of it, it's got a nice feel on the opening, and it, you click it down to close it, so that's really nice. It's got a bunch of different compartments in here, so I can separate them as needed which is kind of nice, or pull it out to have a bigger space. And then I also see the little basket above the ice maker. I'm gonna take that basket out. And you've got two of these little ice makers, and they have this silica gel in them, which I'm pretty sure is toxic to dog chick. Can you lay down? Good boy. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and throw that away. And then the ice makers are that like flexi silicone, kind of 
material, which I like, because it's probably gonna be easier to pop each of the little ice cubes out. So we'll see how well that works um, you know, later on in the review when I test it out. And go ahead and put those back in. And once it gets up to temp, we're gonna start taking it out on the road and see what we think of it on the road. All right, well, not minding the fact that we're in the middle of a kitchen renovation and we haven't installed a backsplash yet on our kitchen, I wanted to make sure you guys got a review of the actual ice maker because one thing reason I made this video review is because I couldn't find anyone who would actually use the ice maker. So I went ahead and filled up the ice trays with water, simple to do, put the covers on, and set the uh, ice maker to on, and then went ahead and put that into the Dometic. So what's really awesome is it works exactly as Dometic intended. Uh, I put the timer on to see how long it would take. I read that it would take about two and a half hours. And within two hours and 15 minutes, we had totally solid, usable ice cubes. So it's really cool, especially if you enjoy some ice cubes in your adult beverages while you're camping. It's a really nice uh, little feature that doesn't take up too much space in the fridge. So it works as intended, really cool little feature if that's something that you're looking for in your fridge to have ready-made ice for your drinks. All right, everyone, I've been using the Dometic CFX 55 for the last six weeks or so in a variety of applications, and I am loving it for sure. So I've used it to go car camping in my Subaru Outback where it fits awesome right next to one of my dog crates. I've used it to just go to the grocery store and not have to go right back to my house because we live very far from a Trader Joe's. And I've also used it to go um, just traveling for work. So I've used it in my work minivan to travel all around New England where I can use it while I'm in the car for traveling and makes it so that I can have my raw dog food with me. Um, so nice like Kongs and Topples for the dogs while we're traveling long distances. D distances? as well as being able to use it uh, for my own food. So I have some fresh food, so if I stock up uh, on some food I like at the next hotel, I can have it um, in the hotel room, which is great. And I can also easily bring it into the hotel room for some extra freezer space because most hotel rooms have those little mini fridges that have tiny little freezers, which isn't gonna fit, fit any of my raw dog food in it. So I've been, you know, just pulling it out of the car, bringing it in. Uh, at like 48, say 50 pounds, um, it hasn't been too much of a pain to put it between the cars and the hotel rooms. Um, definitely super usable. Uh, one thing that I do miss a little bit is having the dual zone um, that I did have with my uh, Dometic 75. Uh, the 75, you have two separate uh, areas. One can be a freezer and one can be a fridge. So if that's something you need, you might have to go up a couple sizes to get that feature. However, what I have found is that if I kind of teeter on the edge of freezing, so somewhere in like the, you know, low, the high end of freezing range, uh, the compartment that's, a, that's small and above the compressor, above the ice maker, will stay a little bit less cool. So I can put things like if I get fresh guac or something, I can put that in that section and it tends not to freeze right away. So if I'm traveling between places, that seems to be the best place to store things, uh, which works out really nicely. One tip I learned while using this fridge is definitely to make sure it's actually closed. So when you just shut it, it sounds like it's closed, but you actually need to push down and wait for the click for it to be uh, completely sealed. What's really nice about it is I don't have a, a external power source for it right now, so I'm just running it off the car or the hotel room. And even so, if I run in and you know have to do an errand for an hour, I come back, my stuff is still frozen because the insulation value of the Dometic is really, really good. So I'm not having to worry about everything defrosting just because I've been gone for an hour. I do intend to get a power source so that I don't have to deal with that. Um, and hopefully I'll make a new video on what power source I choose. Uh, so if you have ideas, comment down below and uh, how long it lasts and that kind of thing. Uh, but so far, even without a power source, it's worked fantastic. So some final thoughts. I love this product, I love Dometic's. I've had the 65, I've had the 75, and Dometic just sent me the 55 to review. And it's a really great, solid, durable product that's been in and out of my house, in and out of cars, in and out of hotel rooms, and it is holding up really, really well. And I can say from having purchased the 65 and the 75, they hold up really well as well. Um, 
I, it's definitely a splurge item, you know, you don't need it for the weekend, but boy, once you've gone to a, a fridge product, instead of having to bring a cooler with ice in it, you'll never want to go back. So if you do travel a lot like me, or you feed your dogs raw, uh, or you just don't want to deal with ice when you're car camping, this fridge is awesome. And the CFX 55 is perfect for even like extended five to seven day camping trips. There's a lot of space in there that you can use. Jake gives this fridge two paws up for its reliability, durability, and it even is so quiet it has to have a little snowflake icon to let you know it's still running. So whether you're a dog person, a camping person, or a van person, or all three, I highly recommend you check out the Dometic for your next fridge or freezer. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Hit that bell button so you get notified whenever our new videos come out. If you have any questions, go ahead and throw those down below. I'd be happy to answer them. And if you have any comments or ideas for videos or power sources you'd like me to try out with this Dometic CFX 55, definitely put those down below as well. You guys have an awesome day, and happy travels. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for our next video. Subscribe now and never miss an episode.